Hey there guys, what's up? It's your boy Pooch Talk, back with another YouTube video for you guys on the channel. Today's video is going to be us taking over Manchester United in a Manchester United career mode. So without further ado, I suggest we get right into the video. Right then guys, as you guys can see, we are Manchester United. I've only just started the career mode, but we've already got six things in the office which we need to get sorted. So yeah, you've got the European International Cup, which I participated in. I took the highest one there was for 9.7 million. Obviously, we're going to just ignore all of this for now and read through it at a later point. So, for right now, I want to concentrate on the team. I want to get out with the old, bring in some new players so we can set off the first season with a dub. So we're going to go to the squad hub right now. So De Gea, you know the thing is with me and De Gea, I've never really, I mean I've liked De Gea in the past, he's been great for us, he's, I'm just feeling like he's past his time and unfortunately it is going to be past his time at, uh, with me at United, so unfortunately I'm not going to be using you. Romero should have been gone already in the summer, I don't know what we're doing keeping him, it's Woodward, what are you up to lad? Anyhow, we've got the loan list. Henderson, obviously these are all down to personal opinion, let me know what you guys would have done in the conversation down below. Obviously Lee Grant man, you pass your time, bro you're 37, it's time to move on my guy. Luke Shaw, great left back, great talent, I'm going to loan you out my guy. Brandon Williams needs a loan, Tears is a dub, Tears is staying my guy, look at him in the United kit, what a fucking beauty. You know what I mean, what a beauty, right. Got Phil Jones, man. Sir Phil Jones, 28 years old. He's never going to be used. We got Marquito Rojo. Again, 30, not going to be used. Baye, again. Unfortunately, you're just not good enough, my guy. Twanzibi, alone. Mengi, alone. Great talent, Mengi is. Maguire, get out. 80 million, what do you mean? Ethan Laird, alone. Tosi Menza, alone. Wan Bissaka, stay in. Nemanja Matic, out. Galbraith, alone. Fred. Thing is with Fred, yeah, I kind of want to keep him, but I can't. I'll, I'll keep him for now, we'll see. McTominay, alone. Rashford, stay in. Chongi, 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 he's obviously out alone. Pogba, out. I'm sorry, I'm part of that Pogba out movement. He's had his time with us. Have a good one, Pogba. I'll see you in a bit. Then we've got Donny van der Beek, who's obviously come to stay. Oi, oi. It's Donny van der Beek. Oi, oi. He's coming here to stay. Then we've got him. Then you've got Bruno Fernandes. You've got Jesse Lingard. Again, another one of them youths who just needs to go with Juanino Mata as well. Both had their time. Mason Greenwood. I'm going to be fair to him and I'm going to learn him out because in my career mode, he's not going to really be a part of the team until later on. Facuna Palestri, man, just needs a loan. Daniel James, again, another guy who just needs a loan. And I've implemented him. El Matador. I just updated the game as well before this. El Matador Cavani. 84 rated Cavani. Let's go. <laughs> Right, obviously El Matador is here to stay. Contract expiring in 12 months. What do we do with that? We negotiate a new contract, my guy. I'm probably not going to use him as much. It's just cool to kind of have and keep for the seasons. He's on 135,000 euros a week. I'm going to say important. He probably won't hit the fucking starting 11. That doesn't work. Crucial. My guy. What the fudge? I'm going to give him a, to be fair, I'll give him a two year. I'll give it to you. Let's go. Release clause? Nah, I'm sorry, Cavani. No one's going to be really wanting you. Um, put him on 200k. Just so uh, they're happy and I'm happy and we can all just go to bed happy. So we got El Matador Cavani. Marshall staying. Odeon. I love you, my guy. I love you so much. As being a fellow Nigerian myself, I love you, my guy. But your time's gone, man. Sorry, Odeon. I'm sorry, Odeon. Odeon. Oh, no. I feel like I failed. So that's the team. That's the squad. So who I'm looking to... Oh, obviously, we've got loan uh, exp uh, expired. Odeon and Galo. Who I'm willing to... Who I'm wanting to try and bring in. I'm going to show you guys on screen now. First person is Adama Traore. Bro, he's only 24. What do you mean? Luke's about 28 with that receded hairline. But... We're going to shortlist him in the transfer hub. Next player I want to try and bring in is a fellow, a, a player I've liked for a long time. And he goes by the name of Saul. Yeah, he goes by the name of Saul. I was going to put in Saul when he gets, but he goes by the name of Saul. Very, very good centre mid. 
I've liked him for years now, and I tend to get him quite a lot in my career modes. And the last player I want to try and bring in for season one, well, maybe not last player, but maybe for the last player for this first episode, is Mark andre Testagen, one of my favourite goalkeepers. If you guys don't know that, Mark andre Testagen is one of my favourite goalkeepers. He's nuts. For me, he's up there with the likes of Van der Sar. He's just crazy. Right. Let's try and see what we can do with uh, Adama Traore. He's obviously going to maybe replace, you know, the likes of Mason Greenwood on the right. Obviously, Mason Greenwood's going to try and get a loan. Let's see what we can do with Wolves. See if we can uh, get them to barter. Right, offer transfer fee. I'm looking at about 24 million euros. I'm about to say pounds then. What are they saying? 18 would buy. That'd be 48 though. Oh, what am I on about? Maths, quick maths. 38 and a half. If they're willing to come down on the price by 2 million, I'll do it. Oh, now they've added on a, a sell on clause. Remove sell on clause. Maybe they'll accept it without. Let's see. Ah, okay. So they needed a centre back. I can give them that centre back. I might actually need to go out and still buy a centre back still. I haven't thought this through. We'll call it, we'll put it at crucial. Oh, look at him. The built lad. You know, he's, he's muscly as fuck. He'll be 29 when this contract ends. Three years! Alright, then he'll be 27. We can do that. Uh, yeah, we will we'll accept uh, no release clause. I don't, I'm not a fan of these signing on bonuses, I'm, I'm being honest, I never have been. I'd rather just give him a bigger contract. You don't actually know his current, rate, current wage. I'm going to just up it to like 87 and remove the bonus, see what they say. Yeah, he's accepted it. Right, on to our next conquest in Saul Niguez. Offer transfer fee. How much are we saying here then? Saul is valued at 55, I'm going to offer them 80, see what they say. 86. So I'm not. I wasn't that far off. Can I counter that and propose a propose you a transfer fee of maybe 84 and a half? Because then we're kind of in the middle there, my guy. Yes, let's go. Bartering done. Now it's down to the contract. Hello, Mr. Salwaniguez, and your agent. I'm going to put you in a crucial role. Let's go. We've got that done. Oh, I'd like to try and sign you for five years. If you're down. Oh, that's awesome then. Perfect. Disregard release calls. I don't need one. Your wage on 77k. Welcome to 110,000 euros a week, because that's what we do at Manchester United. What do you mean? Oh, the, the guy's moving jigger. He's moving mad. Bro, his agent's trying to get more money out of me. Alright then, 140. I'm not going up by anything. Let's go. Fuck your agent's fucking fee, bro. I want you to get the money, so not your agent. Right, let's try and get Mark andre Testagen. They want... Okay, so current value is at 110 milli. If I offer them 150, will they accept that? <laughs> They're blown out of proportion. Fuck me. 193.2 million euros. Don't ask me how many pounds that is. That's just Mazzolini money. Ah, I'll have to try to counter him. Well, if I added a player in, a goalkeeper, so we got the likes of David De Gea, and maybe bring it down by like 30 mil. What are they gonna say? There we go, 163 plus David, now down to the contract. Hey, Marky Mark and a Brainy Bunch, what are we saying, my guy? Crucial role. Three year contract, because you're, you're apparently old. 28 already, my guy. Release clause, you don't need one. We don't need release clauses. We're Manchester United. We don't do release clauses. And you're on 260. Wow. Welcome to 350, my guy. Manchester United, the home of money. Let's go. So we got all of our three transfer targets already in the space of what five minutes. Obviously, I'm going to change the formation to how I like. I would like to see Manchester United play. I'm a I'm a big fan of the four triple two. I'm a, I do believe in having them wide cams. Also being able to trap back as well makes the game more entertaining. So, in order for that to work, you're going to have to have it like this. Marcus Rash is going to go minus one, but it is what it is. Fanino Mata is going to be uh, put out. 
So we're going to have Van Der Beek in a holding role with Scott McTominay, if I can get him there. There you go. And then we are going to have, who are we going to have? Hmm. Uh, you're gonna have Saul. Actually, no, we're gonna swap that then because Saul's more the, more of a box to box. So we're gonna have Van der Beek as a cam. We've got Saul uh, and Fred uh, running the kind of midfield, holding it, uh, holding it like stable, keeping it out. Is you know it is. And we're gonna have um, we're gonna do, we're gonna put a dam on the branch. Uh, on the branch. Wow, on the branch. Big big up the br br branch. And we got Ter Stegen in. So what we need in? We need in two centre backs. Let me quickly go out and buy them. First centre back we're going to be buying is none, none other than Rafita Rafael Varan. I believe he's a six centre back and he's one that I definitely want for the team. The second one is more of a controversial one. A lot of you be like, hmm, why him? I like him. I have my own for, for a while. It's Longley, Clement. Let's hope we can welcome the both of you French centre backs to Manchester United. So Rafita's got a buyout clause of 154 million, but I reckon I can get Real Madrid down to about 140, if, I, if I'm good. So if we can get him for around 140, we'll save ourselves 14 million. Let's let's try the 140. Let's see what they say. There we go. Oh, bro, get me in, Woodward. I can save you peas to pay off to the freaking people off in the US, the Glazers. Let's go. Rafita's on 220k a week. That's a lot of money. See if he wants to accept the five year. He'll accept the five year. Disregard the release clause. I pay too much for you anyway, my guy. Right. I'm going to offer you a big whopping 330k a week. Let's see if you accept that. That's 110k more than you are at Real Madrid. And welcome to the club, my guy. We move on to Longley now. Uh, I'm going to offer them 120 and see where they go. I probably overpaid. Let me know in the comment section if I have overpaid for some of these players. If and also if I haven't, obviously I'd be happy to get your feedback. Right, long lays on 190 grand a week. Why are these players on so much money? It is crazy. Right, four year. He wants a four year contract. We'll give him that four year. We'll disregard disregard the release clause. And I am going to offer him 250 grand. Welcome to Manchester United, my guy. 60k more than you are in Barcelona. Who's Barcelona when you can be playing for the best club in the world? Right, it's time, Maguire. It's time to say goodbye. Don't leave me alone. And wait for the night. I need you, I need you tonight. Right, long lay, Rafita. Vamos, cabrón. Luke Shaw, man. Where's Tellers? Come on, we've got to get Tellers in there. Bissaka Lobonai. Right, perfect. Obviously, I wanted to do something. Captain Bruno Fernandes, that's how I want to see it. Freaking Ole from future. Give Uno, Uno, who the fuck is Uno? Give Bruno that fucking captain, you <laughs> know. Um, but yeah, we got Bruno on pretty much everything. We'll keep, uh, uh, actually, we'll, we'll put Tejas there and Bissaka on the other one. But apart from that, Instructions, which I'm going to set. Obviously, this is how I uh, would like to see the team play. Actually, what am I doing? I'm going very in depth, I know, but it is what it is. I would like to see them stay forward. Obviously, Bruno. These guys can uh, track back. Cover set now. Come on, wing. Stay back. Stay back. Aggressive. Oh shit. Aggressive. Oh shit. Aggressive. Right. That's how I see the team going. That's also going to do it for episode one. If you guys have liked this series and can't wait to see me play the first game in our in our cup tournament, then let me know in the comments down below. Five likes will equal another episode of this. Without further ado, time to put it off, and I'll see you guys on my next one. Peace.